had 30,000 beds in 300 days, build hundreds of thousands of affordable homes, expand mental health services, and add 500 new sanitation workers to clean our streets. Let's fix homelessness now. Rick Caruso for mayor. More truck owners are switching to Ram, which means more people behind the grill are switching to Ram. Can you flip that? And more people behind the people behind the grill. More uncles who take Thanksgiving football games too seriously. And more people who can't resist telling you that the leaves are changing. Leaves are changing. Are switching to Ram. Get 0% financing plus 3,500 bonus cash on the 2022 Ram 1500. Or well-qualified lessees can lease the 2022 Ram 1500 for 435 a month. I never thought in my wildest dreams I had a problem with my kidneys. And then wham, my whole existence changed. If Prop 29 passes, clinics will close and people will die. It's as simple as that. Vote no on 29. Watch Off the Clock, today at 2 on KTLA 5. Now at noon, breaking news. Nuri Martinez has resigned as L.A. City Council president after she was heard making racist remarks about another councilman's son. Thank you for joining us for the KTLA 5 News at Noon. I'm Glenn Walker. And I'm Lou Parker. Public outrage has been growing after audio recordings were recently leaked. As several local leaders are also speaking out about the city council shakeup. KTLA 5's Kareen Winter live in downtown L.A. with the breaking details. Kareen. Glenn, several city council leaders they addressed the matter this morning at various events. You'll soon hear from one of them. But first, take a look at this statement that Nuri Martinez released a short time ago, announcing her resignation, effective immediately, saying in part, as someone who believes deeply in the empowerment of communities of color, I recognize my comments undercut that goal. Going forward, reconciliation will be my priority. I have already reached out to many of my black colleagues and other black leaders to express my regret in order for us to heal. I ask for forgiveness from my colleagues and from the residents of this city that I love so much. Mike Bonin and his adopted black son. This was at an MLK parade. It's like the oddest thing. It's like black and brown on this floor. The kid is bouncing off the effing wall on the floor, practically tipping it over. There's nothing you can do to control him. This kid is a beat down. Like, let me, let me take him around the corner and then I'll bring him back. That parade was back in 2017, and again, in attendance was Bonin, his husband, and their child. They were on a float. Martinez, in that recording, referred to the child as a monkey. Now, the councilman said in a statement that the comments were vile and disgraceful and that Martinez attacked her son with horrific racist slurs and talked about her desire to physically harm him. Martinez was also reco recorded during a meeting in 2021 with other top Latino members of city council and a high-ranking county labor leader making derogatory and racist remarks about colleagues, namely L.A. County D.A. George Gascon, using an expletive and saying he's with the blacks. The conversation focused mainly on frustration with maps that were proposed for redistricting and concerns over loss of economic assets in current districts. Councilman Mitch O'Farrell, he just spoke out on the matter. I think that this is a moment of reconciliation for all of us. Um, what we do when no one is looking is the definition of integrity. And this is a violation of that, of that meaning. It's a violation of the trust that we've all given uh, our, our colleagues. Uh, and it's just a really sad... It's, it's a devastating day for Los Angeles. It's unclear who leaked the recording or why it was released now. We also heard from um, the mayor of Los Angeles saying that there's no place for this type of racism in our city. And George Gascon also said that he was saddened and disappointed by these attacks. That's the latest here in downtown Los Angeles. Kareen Winter, KTLA 5 News. Kareen, thank you. Meantime, local leaders gathered this morning to publicly denounce L.A. City Council candidate Tracy Park. Her opponent for the District 11 council seat, Aaron Darling, recently brought up a 2020 case where Park, an attorney, defended the use of a racial slur in court. Park defended the city of Anaheim after a black...